Imagine finding a dime from your loose change that's worth thousands of dollars. It sounds unbelievable, right? Well, in the world of coin collecting, rare dimes with particular minting errors or those in pristine condition can easily fetch five or even six figures at auction. The key is knowing what to look for. Today, we'll be focusing on one such valuable coin, the 1991 D. Roosevelt dime. We're about to break down why this seemingly common dime could be worth much more than its face value. Let's explore how condition errors and rarity play a part in the enormous worth of this coin, potentially making it worth thousands of dollars. The 1991 D1 dime is a coin that at first glance may appear to be just another piece of pocket change. However, for collectors and numismatists, it represents a rich history and potential for significant value. The dime, which features the iconic profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt, was minted in large quantities, but certain varieties can be surprisingly rare and valuable. Let's dive into the fascinating story of the 1991 D1 D1 dime, exploring its design, minting process, unique features, and why it has gained attention among collectors and investors alike. The design of the dime we know today was introduced in 1946, following the death of Franklin D. Roosevelt. He was chosen for the dime because of his leadership during the Great Depression and World War II. The obverse side of the coin features Roosevelt's left-facing profile, while the reverse displays a torch flanked by an olive branch and an oak branch, symbolizing liberty and peace. The inscription one dime is prominently displayed, making it clear what value the coin represents. In 1991, the U.S. Mint produced around 1.4 billion dimes across various facilities, including the Denver Mint, which produced the D-marked coins. Most of these dimes are not particularly rare and can often be found in circulation. However, certain factors can influence a specific coin's value. One of the critical aspects that numismatists consider is the condition of the coin. Dimes that have been well-preserved and show minimal wear are often graded higher on the Sheldon scale, a 70-point grading system used by collectors. Coins in uncirculated condition, graded at MS60 or above, can command much higher prices than their circulated counterparts. For the 1991 D dime, examples in MS67 condition or higher have sold for prices upwards of $200 to $300 at $300 at auction. However, the real excitement lies in the potential for rarer varieties and errors. Coins with unique minting errors, such as double dies or misprints, can be worth thousands. For instance, a 1991 D dime with an obvious double die error could fetch prices between $5,000 and $10,000 or more, depending on the severity of the error and the demand in the market. As we consider the market dynamics, it's essential to recognize the factors that drive demand for coins like the 1991 D dime. Coin collecting, often referred to as numismatics, is a hobby that combines history, art, and investment. Collectors often seek to complete their sets or to find unique pieces that stand out, and this creates a vibrant marketplace. The internet has further revolutionized how collectors can access coins, making it easier to buy, sell, and trade with enthusiasts worldwide. The 1991 D dime is also notable for its role in U.S. currency history. During the early 90s, the United States was experiencing economic changes. The coinage of the era reflects both the economic conditions and the values of the time. The 1991 D dime, while seemingly mundane, is a tangible reminder of the history and culture of the period. For many collectors, owning a coin like the 1991 D dime is not just about its monetary value, it's about the stories and memories tied to it. Perhaps it was received as a gift or found in a childhood piggy bank, making it a sentimental piece. This emotional attachment can add another layer of value that isn't always reflected in market prices. Moreover, the 1991 D dime also showcases the artistry involved in coin design and production. The intricate details from the texture of Roosevelt's hair to the olive branch demonstrate the skill and care taken by engravers and mint workers. Each coin is a work of art that represents a slice of American history. As we look ahead, the future of coins like the 1991 D dime remains bright. With the continual interest in coin collecting and the growing popularity of investing in physical assets, the demand for rare and unique coins is likely to rise. Collectors are always on the lookout for pieces that can appreciate over time, making even the most common coins worth a second glance. If you're a collector or someone simply interested in coins, it's worth keeping an eye out for the 1991 D dime. Whether you find one in your pocket change or discover one in a coin shop, take a moment to appreciate not just its value, but its history and the story it tells. 1977 D1 dime. The 1977 D1 dime is an intriguing piece of US. Coinage that encapsulates a unique blend of history, design, and market interest. 
While it might seem like just another dime in circulation, for collectors, this coin holds a story that goes beyond its face value. Let's explore the essential aspects of the 1977D dime, from its design to its potential value, and why it captivates numismatists. The dime was designed in 1946, shortly after the death of President Franklin D. Roosevelt, who is featured on the obverse side of the coin. Roosevelt's profile is an enduring symbol of leadership and resilience, particularly during the Great Depression and World World War II. The reverse side of the dime showcases a torch flanked by an olive branch and an oak branch, representing liberty, peace, and strength. The inscription One Dime clearly denotes its value, making it instantly recognizable. In 1977, the U.S. Mint produced a significant number of dimes, including those minted in Denver, marked with a D. The total production for the year was around 1.2 billion dimes, meaning that the 1977 D dime is not particularly rare when considering its overall minting numbers. However, rarity is not the only factor that determines a coin's value. One of the most critical elements in determining the value of the 1977D dime is its condition. Coins are graded on a scale from 1 to 70, known as the Sheldon scale, where a higher number signifies a better condition. For example, a dime in uncirculated condition with a grade of MS60 or higher can be worth significantly more than a circulated one. While most 1977 dimes in circulation may only be worth their face value of 10 cents, those graded at MS67 or above have been known to sell for anywhere from $50 to $100 in auctions. Additionally, coins with minting errors are highly sought after by collectors. For instance, if a 1977D dime is found with a noticeable double die or a struck off center error, it could fetch prices well into the thousands. In some cases, these unique errors can be valued anywhere from $1,000 to $5,000, depending on the severity of the mistake and the demand from collectors. The appeal of the 1977D dime also lies in its historical context. The late 1970s were a time of significant economic change in the United States. The nation was facing rising inflation and economic uncertainty. Collectors often find that coins from specific eras reflect the cultural and economic climate of their time. This connection can enhance a coin's value beyond its physical attributes. In the realm of coin collecting, the 1977D dime holds a place of interest for those looking to complete their collections or discover unique pieces. Coin collecting is more than just a hobby, it's a journey into the past. Every coin tells a story, and for many collectors, the thrill of finding a coin that may have been lost to time or passed down through generations adds a layer of excitement. Furthermore, the 1977D dime is a testament to the artistry involved in coin design. The craftsmanship required to create each coin is significant, and the details in Roosevelt's profile and the reverse design demonstrate the skill of the engravers and mint workers. Collectors often appreciate not just the coin's value, but the artistry behind it. As we look to the future, the interest in coins like the 1977D dime shows no signs of waning. The internet has made it easier for collectors to connect, trade, and purchase coins, ensuring a vibrant marketplace for enthusiasts. With rising interest in physical assets as investments, coins that may seem common could see increased demand as collectors search for pieces that could appreciate over time. So whether you stumble across a 1977D dime in your change jar or find one at a coin shop, take a moment to appreciate not just its monetary worth, but the history it embodies and the stories it can tell. It is a small piece of American history, representing a time of both challenge and resilience. 1979D1 dime. The 1979D1 dime stands out as a noteworthy entry in the long lineage of U.S. coinage. With a design rooted in history and a minting process that reflects the economic conditions of its time, this coin has captured the attention of collectors and enthusiasts alike. Let's explore the significance of the 1979D dime, discussing its design, value, and what makes it an interesting piece for numismatists. The design of the dime, which features Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse, was introduced in 1946, Roosevelt's profile is a symbol of leadership during one of the most challenging times in American history, the Great Depression and World War II. The reverse side of the dime features a torch surrounded by an olive branch and an oak branch, symbolizing liberty and peace. This timeless design has made the dime one of the most recognizable coins in circulation. In 1979, the U.S. Mint produced a substantial quantity of dimes, with the Denver Mint alone producing approximately 1.3 billion dimes. While the high mintage means that the 1979D dime is not particularly rare, it doesn't diminish its appeal to collectors. The coin is often sought after not just for its value, but also for the nostalgia and history it represents. The condition of the 1979D dime is paramount when determining its value. 
Collectors use the Sheldon scale to grade coins, with higher grades commanding higher prices. For example, a dime graded at MS67 or above could fetch prices of $150 to $300 at auction. However, the real excitement for collectors often lies in the discovery of unique varieties or minting errors. A significant error associated with the 1979 D-dime is the existence of double-die varieties. Coins with such errors can be worth thousands. For instance, a 1979 D-dime with a visible double die could sell for prices ranging from $2,000 to $10,000 depending on the error's prominence and the collector demand. The 1979 D-dime also serves as a snapshot of its era. The late 1970s were characterized by economic turmoil, including high inflation and energy crises. These factors often lead collectors to seek coins from this period, not just for their value but for the stories they tell about the economic landscape of the time. For many collectors, the journey of finding a 1979 D-dime goes beyond mere monetary value. Each coin tells a story, and discovering a 1979 D-dime in a collection or pocket change can evoke feelings of nostalgia. It can remind one of childhood days spent collecting coins or family members who shared their passion for numismatics. Moreover, the artistry involved in minting the 1979 D-dime is worth appreciating. The intricate details of Roosevelt's image and the symbolic representation on the reverse side highlight the craftsmanship that goes into coin production. Collectors often admire these designs which reflect the historical and artistic context of their time. Looking ahead, the future of coins like the 1979 D-dime seems promising. With growing interest in physical collectibles and investments, coins from the late 20th century are likely to see increased demand. The 1979 D-Dime, with its potential for unique varieties and historical significance, will continue to attract collectors. Whether you find a 1979 D-Dime in circulation or at a coin shop, it's an opportunity to own a small piece of history. So the next time you come across one, take a moment to appreciate its design, its story, and the journey it has taken to reach your hands. 1988 P1 Dime the 1988 P1 dime is a fascinating coin that embodies a unique era in American history. While it may appear as a simple piece of change, its design, minting process, and potential for value make it an intriguing subject for collectors. Let's delve into the world of the 1988 P dime and discover what makes it stand out among its peers. The dime as we know it today features the profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse side. This design was adopted in 1946, following Roosevelt's death honoring his contributions during the Great Depression and World War II. The reverse side of the coin showcases a torch surrounded by an olive branch and an oak branch and an oak branch, symbolizing liberty and peace. This design has remained largely unchanged, making the dime one of the most enduring coins in American currency. In 1988, the U.S. Mint produced a significant number of dimes, including those minted in Philadelphia which are marked with a P, approximately 1.6 billion dimes were produced that year, meaning the 1988 P dime is not particularly rare. However, rarity isn't the only metric for determining a coin's value. One of the key factors collectors consider is the condition of the coin. Coins are graded on a scale of 1 to 70, with higher grades indicating better condition. A coin that is well-preserved and shows little to nowhere can command a much higher price in the market. For example, a 1988 P dime in MS67 condition could sell for around $30 to $50, while those in lower grades may only be worth their face value. However, the true excitement for collectors often lies in the discovery of minting errors. Errors can significantly enhance a coin's value and desirability. For instance, if a 1988 P dime exhibits a notable error, such as a double die or off-center strike, it could be valued at $1,000 to $5,000 or more depending on the specifics of the error and collector demand. In addition to its monetary value, the 1988 P dime provides a glimpse into the cultural and economic context of its time. The late 1980s were characterized by economic growth and stability, with the U.S. experiencing a period of relative prosperity. Collectors often seek coins from specific periods to better understand the historical backdrop, and the 1988 P dime is a representation of that era. For many enthusiasts, coin collecting is not just about the monetary value, it's about the stories and memories attached to each coin. The 1988 P dime may evoke memories of childhood or serve as a reminder of family traditions. These sentimental values can enhance the coin's worth, making it a treasured item in a collector's portfolio. The artistry involved in creating the 1988 P dime is another aspect worth celebrating. The craftsmanship and attention to detail in both the obverse and reverse designs demonstrate the skill of the engravers and mint workers. 
This appreciation for artistry adds another layer to the experience of collecting coins, making it more than just an investment. As we look toward the future, the interest in coins like the 1988 P dime continues to grow. The rise of online marketplaces and coin auctions has made it easier for collectors to find and trade coins, creating a vibrant community. With more people recognizing the value of tangible assets, the 1988p dime's appeal is likely to remain strong. So whether you discover a 1988p dime in your pocket change or find one at a coin show, take a moment to appreciate its history and potential value. It is not merely a 10-cent piece, it is a small artifact that connects you to a rich tapestry of American history. 1978 One Dime the 1978 One Dime is a captivating piece of U.S. coinage that tells a story of both design and economic significance. While it may be overlooked in everyday transactions, collectors recognize the potential value and historical context of this coin. Let's take a closer look at the 1978 Dime, exploring its design, minting history, and what makes it a valuable addition to any collection. The design of the Dime has remained consistent since its introduction in 1946. The obverse side features the profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt, chosen for his leadership during the Great Depression and World War II. The reverse side displays a torch, olive branch, and oak branch, symbolizing liberty and peace. This enduring design has made the dime one of the most recognizable coins in circulation. In 1978, the U.S. Mint produced a substantial quantity of dimes, with the total mintage for the year exceeding 1.3 billion dimes, the Denver Mint, which produced the D-Mark coins, minted a significant portion of this total. While this high mintage means the 1978 dime is not particularly rare, it does not diminish its appeal to collectors. One of the most critical factors in determining the value of the 1978 dime is its condition. Coins are graded on the Sheldon scale with higher grades indicating better condition. A well-preserved 1978 dime graded at MS67 can fetch prices ranging from $50 to $100. However, the real excitement for collectors often comes from unique varieties and minting errors. The errors associated with the 1978 dime can significantly enhance its value. For example, a 1978 dime with a double die error can sell for thousands of dollars, depending on the severity of the error. In some instances, these rare errors can command prices upwards of $1,000 to $5,000 or more, depending on the collector market's demand. Additionally, the 1978 dime serves as a reminder of its historical context. The late 1970s were marked by economic challenges, including rising inflation and energy crises. This backdrop often makes coins from this period more appealing to collectors who appreciate the stories behind each piece. The 1978 dime, with its representation of the struggles and resilience of the American people, adds depth to any collection. For many collectors, the journey of discovering a 1978 dime is more than just a monetary investment, it's a connection to history. Each coin carries with it the potential for nostalgia, reminding individuals of their childhood or family traditions. This emotional attachment can elevate the coin's value beyond its market price, making it a cherished item. The artistry involved in minting the 1978 dime is another aspect worth noting. The intricate details of Roosevelt's profile and the symbolism of the torch, olive branch, and oak branch highlight the craftsmanship of the engravers and mint workers. Collectors often appreciate not just the coin's value but the artistry behind it, making each piece a work of art. As we look forward, the interest in coins like the 1978 dime is expected to grow. With the rise of online trading and auction platforms, collectors can easily find and connect with others, creating a vibrant community. Coins that may have once seemed common are now viewed as valuable investments, increasing their appeal. So whether you come across a 1978 dime in your change jar or find one at a coin shop, take a moment to appreciate its history and significance. It is a small piece of American history that connects you to a past filled with stories, struggles, and resilience. 1984 P1 Dime The 1984 P1 Dime is an interesting coin that embodies a unique blend of design, history, and potential value. While it may appear as a simple piece of pocket change for collectors and enthusiasts, it offers a glimpse into the past and reflects the economic climate of its time. Let's explore the details of the 1984 P dime, examining its design, minting history, and what makes it appealing to numismatists. The design of the dime has remained largely unchanged since its introduction in 1946. The obverse side features the profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt, chosen to honor his leadership during the Great Depression and World War II. The reverse side displays a torch flanked by an olive branch and an oak branch, representing liberty and peace. 
This timeless design has made the dime one of the most recognizable coins in the United States. In 1984, the U.S. Mint produced a considerable quantity of dimes, with the Philadelphia Mint denoted by the P-Mint mark producing approximately 1.4 billion dimes that year. While this high mintage means the 1984 P-Dime is not particularly rare, it does not diminish its significance in the world of coin collecting. When evaluating the value of the 1984 P-Dime, one of the most important factors is its condition. Coins are graded on the Sheldon scale with higher grades commanding higher prices. A well-preserved 1984 P-Dime graded at MS67 or higher can be worth anywhere from anywhere from $30 to $75. However, the true excitement for collectors often lies in discovering unique varieties or minting errors. Minting errors associated with the 1984 P-Dime can significantly enhance its desirability. For instance, if a 1984 P-Dime is found with a noticeable double die or an off-center strike, it could fetch prices ranging from $1,000 to $5,000 or more depending on the specifics of the error and the demand from collectors. Moreover, the 1984 P-Dime offers insight into the economic context of its time. The early 1980s were marked by economic recovery following a period of high inflation and recession coins from this period often reflect the cultural and economic climate, making them appealing to collectors who appreciate the historical backdrop of their coins. For many enthusiasts, coin collecting transcends mere financial investment, it is about the stories and memories attached to each piece. The 1984 P-Dime may evoke personal recollections or serve as a reminder of family traditions, enhancing its sentimental value. This emotional attachment can elevate a coin's worth beyond its market price, making it a treasured item in a collector's portfolio. The artistry involved in the minting of the 1984 P-Dime is another noteworthy aspect. The intricate details of Roosevelt's profile and the symbolic representation on the reverse highlight the skill of engravers and mint workers. In collectors often appreciate these artistic elements which contribute to the overall value and desirability of the coin. Looking ahead, the interest in coins like the 1984 P-Dime is likely to remain strong. The rise of online marketplaces and auctions has made it easier for collectors to find and trade coins, fostering a vibrant community. As more people recognize the value of physical collectibles, the appeal of the 1984 P-Dime will likely grow. So whether you stumble across a 1984 P-Dime in your pocket change or find one at a coin show, take a moment to appreciate its history and potential value. It is not merely a 10-cent piece, it is a small artifact that connects you to the rich tapestry of American history. 1971 One Dime The 1971 One Dime is an intriguing piece of U.S. coinage that tells a story of both historical significance and economic context. While it may be overlooked in daily transactions, Collectors and enthusiasts recognize its potential value and the narrative it represents. Let's delve into the world of the 1971 dime, exploring its design, minting history, and what makes it appealing to numismatists. The dime, featuring the profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse, was first introduced in 1946. Roosevelt's image serves as a reminder of his leadership during the Great Depression and World War II. The reverse side of the coin showcases a torch surrounded by an olive branch and an oak branch, symbolizing liberty and peace. This design has become iconic, making the dime one of the most recognizable coins in circulation. In 1971, the U.S. Mint produced a substantial quantity of dimes, with the total mintage for the year exceeding 2.3 billion dimes. This high production means the 1971 dime is not particularly rare, however, it remains an interesting coin for collectors due to its historical context and potential for unique varieties. When assessing the value of the 1971 dime, the condition is a significant factor. Coins are graded on the Sheldon scale with higher grades indicating better preservation. A well-graded 1971 dime at MS67 can command prices ranging from $30 to $80 to $80. However, the true allure for collectors often lies in the unique errors that can occur during the minting process. Errors associated with the 1971 dime can substantially increase its value. For example, a 1971 dime exhibiting a double die error can be worth anywhere from $500 to $2.000, depending on the error's visibility and collector demand. Such rare varieties often create a buzz in the collecting community, enhancing the coin's desirability. Furthermore, the 1971 dime holds historical significance, reflecting the economic climate of its time. The early 1970s were characterized by rising inflation and economic challenges, and coins from this period often resonate with collectors who appreciate the historical context. 
1971 dime serves as a reminder of the struggles and resilience of the American people during a time of uncertainty. For many collectors, the journey of discovering a 1971 dime is about more than just investment, it's about connecting to history and nostalgia. Each coin carries with it personal memories or family traditions, enriching its value beyond the monetary aspect. This emotional connection makes the 1971 dime a treasured item for many enthusiasts. The artistry involved in minting the 1971 dime is another noteworthy feature. The intricate details of Roosevelt's profile and the symbolism of the torch and branches showcase the skill of the engravers and mint workers. And this appreciation for artistry adds depth to the collecting experience, as enthusiasts admire the craftsmanship behind each piece. Looking toward the future, interest in coins like the 1971 dime is expected to continue growing. The rise of online platforms for buying and selling coins has fostered a vibrant community of collectors. Coins that may have once been considered common are now viewed as valuable investments, increasing their appeal. So whether you come across a 1971 dime in your pocket change or find one at a local coin shop, take a moment to appreciate its history and significance. It is a small piece of American heritage that connects you to a past filled with stories, struggles, and triumphs. 1986 P1 Dime the 1986 P1 dime is an intriguing piece of U.S. coinage that represents a blend of history, design, and potential value. While it may often be seen as just another coin in circulation, for collectors and enthusiasts, it offers insights into the economic landscape of its time. Let's explore the details of the 1986 P dime, examining its design minting history and what makes it a compelling addition to any collection. The dime features a design that has remained unchanged since 1946, showcasing the profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse. This design pays homage to Roosevelt's leadership during pivotal moments in American history, particularly the Great Depression and World War II. On the reverse, a torch flanked by an olive branch and an oak branch symbolizes liberty, peace, and strength elements that resonate with collectors. In 1986, the U.S. Mint produced a significant number of dimes, with the Philadelphia Mint marked with the P minting over 1.3 billion dimes that year. This high mintage means that the 1986 P dime is not particularly rare. However, its historical context and potential for unique varieties make it an appealing piece for collectors. The condition of the 1986 P dime is crucial when assessing its value. Coins are graded using the Sheldon scale, with higher grades commanding higher prices. A well-preserved 1986 P dime graded at MS67 can fetch between $25 and $65 and $65. Collectors often find excitement in discovering unique minting errors or varieties that can occur with the 1986 P dime. Notable errors associated with the 1986 P dime can significantly enhance its value. For instance, a double die error or an off-center strike can lead to prices ranging from $400 to $1.500 or more, depending on the specifics of the error and collector demand. These unique varieties often create buzz in the collecting community, increasing the coin's desirability. Furthermore, the 1986 P dime serves as a reminder of the economic climate of the mid-1980s, a time marked by growth and recovery from previous economic challenges. This historical backdrop adds depth to the coin's significance, appealing to collectors who seek pieces that tell a story about their time. For many collectors, coin collecting is not solely about financial investment, it is about connecting with history and personal experiences. The 1986 P dime may evoke memories of childhood, family traditions, or significant life events, enriching its sentimental value. This emotional connection can elevate the worth of the coin beyond its market price, making it a cherished item in any collection. The artistry involved in the minting of the 1986 P dime is also noteworthy. The intricate details of Roosevelt's profile and the symbolism depicted on the reverse highlight the craftsmanship of the engravers and mint workers. D Collectors often appreciate these artistic features, making the experience of collecting even more rewarding. As we look ahead, interest in coins like the 1986 P dime is expected to grow. The rise of online marketplaces has fostered a vibrant community of collectors who seek unique pieces to add to their collections. As more people recognize the value of tangible collectibles, the appeal of the 1986 P dime will likely remain strong. So whether you find a 1986 P dime in your pocket change or discover one at a local coin shop, take a moment to appreciate its history and potential value. It is more than just a 10 cent piece. It is a small artifact that connects you to the rich tapestry of American history. 1988 P1 dime. The 1988 P1 dime is an interesting piece of US 
currency that encapsulates both historical context and collector interest. While it may often be overlooked in everyday transactions, it holds unique significance for numismatists. Let's explore the details of the 1988 P-Dime, examining its design, minting history, and what makes it a valuable addition to any collection. The dime features a design that has remained consistent since 1946, displaying the profile of Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse. This choice honors Roosevelt's leadership during crucial periods in American history, including the Great Depression and World War II. The reverse showcases a torch flanked by an olive branch and an oak branch, representing liberty, peace, and strength qualities that resonate with collectors. In 1988, the U.S. Mint produced a substantial quantity of dimes, with the Philadelphia Mint marked with the P minting over 1 billion dimes that year. This high mintage means that the 1988 P dime is not particularly rare. However, its historical context and potential for unique varieties make it an appealing piece for collectors. When assessing the value of the 1988 P dime, the condition is a crucial factor. Coins are graded on the Sheldon scale, with higher grades indicating better preservation. A well-graded 1988 P-Dime at MS67 can command prices ranging from $20 to $60. Collectors often find excitement in discovering unique errors or varieties associated with the 1988 P-Dime. Errors can significantly enhance the value of the 1988 P-Dime. For example, a double die error or an off-center strike can make the coin highly sought after, with prices potentially ranging from $300 to $1.000 or more, depending on the specifics of the error and collector demand. Additionally, the 1988 P-Dime serves as a reminder of the economic climate of the late 1980s, a period marked by prosperity and growth. This historical backdrop adds depth to the coin's significance, appealing to collectors who appreciate pieces that reflect the stories of their time. For many enthusiasts, collecting coins is not just about financial investment, it's about connecting with history and nostalgia. The 1988 P-Dime may evoke personal memories or family traditions, enhancing its sentimental value, this emotional connection can elevate a coin's worth beyond its market price, making it a cherished item in any collection. The artistry involved in minting the 1988 P-Dime is also noteworthy. The intricate details of Roosevelt's profile and the symbolism depicted on the reverse highlight the skill and craftsmanship of the engravers and mint workers. Collectors often admire these artistic elements, adding depth to the collecting experience. As we look toward the future, interest in coins like the 1988 P-Dime is expected to continue growing. The rise of online marketplaces and auction platforms has created a vibrant community of collectors. As more people recognize the value of tangible collectibles, the appeal of the 1988 P-Dime will likely remain strong. So whether you come across a 1988 P-Dime in your pocket change or find one at a local coin shop, take a moment to appreciate its history and potential value. It is more than just a 10-cent piece, it is a small artifact that connects you to the rich tapestry of American history. In conclusion, each of these dimes 1971, 1973, 1985 P, 1986 P, and 1988 P carries its own unique story and potential for collectors. While they may not be rare due to their high mintage, their historical context, design, and possible minting errors make them intriguing pieces of U.S. currency. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a casual enthusiast, taking the time to explore these coins can lead to a deeper appreciation for their value and significance. The world of coin collecting offers endless opportunities to connect with history and discover hidden treasures, so keep your eyes peeled for these dimes in your pocket change.